Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Dorchester. Going into tonight there were 16 places which separated the two teams. It would actually be the lower ranked team who would have the better star as on the 14th minute an attack led by Angalo saw the skipper skip past Jordan leaving him free in front of goal. Driving a shot into the bottom corner it forced a good save from Stewart to get down low and make his first save within the game. Just after the 30 minute mark Dorchester had the ball cleared off their line. Borough bombardment eventually led to Dave Tarpey being given a ball. Hitting a shot at goal Dorchester's new signing Ecott Young did well to hack the ball off the line to deny the Gosport goal. Moments later Gwench forced Stewart into making his third save. After gaining position in the Gosport half the winger marched forward seeing himself working to the Borough box. Leighton hit in a shot against the goal deck forcing Stewart to yet again get down low to make the save. Chances started to quickly rejuvenate with shots becoming more deadly. Dorchester were given a free kick with the set piece working its way to Gwenge. Quickly passing the ball onto Spetch it allowed the midfielder to divert a shot towards goal, steering it just wide at the borough post. But Gosport actually surfed their luck really well with the half concluding Gosport nil, Dorchester nil. Like the previous games this season Gosport came out a different team in the second half with it taking 20 minutes to get onto the goal sheet. Bradley Tarbutt distancing himself from the defender combined with good footwork allowed the midfielder to have a crack at goal with a shot beat and Foster to make it 1-0 to Borough. Minutes later Gosport will make it too. After a good string of passes Hayes brought down Ramos in the box and as a result the referee blew up for a penalty seeing Rory Williams step up. Like the penalties last week today was no different with Williams slotting it home to cushion the lead. A change of plays and tactics definitely worked for Dorchester as on the 86th minute they snatched a late goal. Waterfield was fed a ball deep into the borough half and a good turn separated the attacker from his man allowing him to slot the ball past Stewart to set up a very nervous last 10 minutes. With full time being up the referee confirmed that there would be an additional 8 minutes. Following this announcement Dorchester came close to getting an equaliser with continuous balls being fired into the box with one cross falling to Spetch who diverted the effort wide. Moments later Dorchester had the ball in the back of the net. It was Spetch again with an effort but this time the attacker placed the ball into the bottom corner. Luckily the players were stood in an offside position which ruled this goal out. However seconds later Dorchester had the ball in the back of the net again. A good corner ball allowed N'Golo to get hold of the ball, firing the ball past Stewart to level the score in the dire moments of the game. And unfortunately that concluded the game with it finishing Gosport 2, Dorchester 2. Yet again the additional minutes haunt us with this being our third consecutive game where we have conceded in stoppage time. We go again this Saturday against Salisbury but final words from me, up the borough.